Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. In this video I'm going to talk about the Orbix London City Scenery that was released to the marketplace very early on, so this payware scenery. And I'm going to try to decide whether it's worth it or not, because there's sort of a split opinion on the marketplace right now. Probably other people have done videos on it, I have not looked at those videos, I'm going to form an independent opinion on this. And of course, we've had freeware packages with city scenery already. We've got Atlantic City and Istanbul freeware, plenty of buildings. And I'm sure people will be making buildings for London as freeware, but maybe this is better optimized or more convenient. We'll see. Uh, so I'll fly over the existing London, London scenery, see what's missing, and then try and fly over it. Now to get to it, because the marketplace has gotten a bit cluttered now and they don't have it organized particularly well. You actually have to click official content, even though it's a third party developer, which so there's a third party developer area here. And at the bottom, because it was very early on added to the marketplace, we see the Landmarks London City Pack. And you can see it's three stars, so that's sort of iffy, right? I mean, I can't read reviews. Nobody's saying anything here. And so I don't know. It says hundreds of iconic London buildings and landmarks. That's what I want. I want London to look proper, and I'm supposing that it doesn't look proper without these, but we'll take a look first. Eight bucks is not too bad considering other scenery that I've seen for Orbix. Are, is that really supposed to be like that? <laughs> I'm going to be picky, okay? So Orbix, uh, I've had some good scenery from them and some bad scenery from them. Uh, the uh, When I say bad scenery, it... It crashed the game. Um, so th there's been good stuff. Like all the way back in FSX, there was the the um, FTX packs for Australia. Uh, they had really nice Australia scenery. Very very low impact. I thought that was nice. And then for X Plane Eleven, I had gotten Kershavell for free. That was nice. But then I decided to give them money uh, for the Southern Britain pack. Uh, so that was photo scenery, 100 gigabytes photo scenery for Southern Britain. That crashed the game every time. Now, mind you, I've had photo scenery for Southern Britain already. It's just not quite as high quality. And I was hoping, and I, I loaded, I managed to load a few times and it looked good, but it mostly crashes the game when I try and load it. So uh, I, that's a technical difficulty that I might have to sort through, but uh, so I've got mixed opinions on Orbix, let's put it that way. So we will see, we will see about this. And uh, I will fly over London in the pit special because it's a good plane to maneuver about in. And let's go to world map. By the way, uh, it did not log my time properly. I've done way more than 34 hours in this game. I think it started recounting my time after a little while. And the logbook in, in the game is horrible. Anyway, that's a whole other discussion. Uh, so we want it to be daylight. And I want to depart from, we'll, we'll just go from Heathrow. Okay, and let's see. Let's see what we can see and from what distance. So stock scenery, but I am willing to pay the eight bucks. So, well, it's a nimble plane for a good reason. So we want to go east. Look at this little thing. So, let's try and follow the river. I mean, honestly, Manhattan looked pretty good to me, so... Will the stock London really look that bad? Will it really need hundreds of buildings to spruce it up to make it look like a proper London? I mean, I know the AI is a little bit iffy, but... I have to say, I don't see a whole lot of buildings at London. <laughs> I mean, I would have expected to see quite a few more. I've flown over this once before, but only in a 747 and it, we weren't taking off from London. I think we took off from like Birmingham and we're headed to, um, to Amsterdam. So, it was an odd Birmingham-Amsterdam flight in a 747. Not the best way to sightsee it. Yeah, I mean, I see a shard-like structure. And that's about it.
Do they only have a one monument budget for London? But I think there's been a, a freeware scenery for Buckingham Palace, incidentally, so we don't need to look for that. We don't need to worry about that. Okay, I see Big Ben, the Houses of Parliament. All right, we've got a thing here. So this is here. That's an important piece and it looks very well done. Very good detail. All right. There are more buildings now. There's a tower bridge and the shard. I'm not a Londoner, I mean, so I don't know all the buildings. I haven't even been to London before. But I have had previous payware scenery packages from London. I forget if it was Aerosoft London. I forget if it was an Aerosoft package. So the shard looks fine. Very shardy. And Tower Bridge. The Tower of London. Looks spiffy. But definitely seen worse towers. That all looks good. But I'm missing, I don't know, the egg? Is that what they call it? Whatever they call it. That one building that looks like an egg shape kind of thing. Don't have that. We don't have the London Eye, do we? Yeah, I don't think we had the London Eye. And we do have the Millennium Dome. So that we do have. All, all in all, I don't think London looks bad, but it's it's certainly missing some prominent buildings. I think that's for sure. Yeah, that Millennium Dome is pretty detailed. But okay, I've, I've committed to it. I'm going to try and get the Orbix London Scenery Pack and see what it does for this. Okay, so the process for purchasing something from the marketplace is interesting. Uh, because I have the game through Steam, it brought me to Steam to buy credits, uh, 32 credits, uh, which apparently is equivalent to eight bucks. And so Steam says, okay, you're buying 32 of the store marketplace credits for eight bucks. And so I said, okay, I had to add the eight bucks to my Steam wallet through my normal payment method. And then um, it executed that. And once Steam sent the message over here that said that the payment was done, uh, I didn't have to do an additional use the 32 credits to pay for it. It automatically started downloading. So uh, it wasn't a separate thing. Once the payment is done through Steam, it automatically started downloading what looks like one gigabyte of a download. Okay, so it now says I own it. I could give a rating, which I will not do. Uh, let's see what it looks like. Uh, I have not had to restart as far as I know. It says it's been successfully downloaded. I hope that means that it will run properly. And so we are once again selecting Heathrow and we will approach and see what it looks like. Okay, well, first of all, and it's a little bit laggy at Heathrow, but that was the same as before as well. So let me wait for it to clear up a bit as I trim. Okay, it has cleared up. So, we see a lot more buildings. <laughs> so there is that. That is readily apparent from this distance that we have more buildings at London. But we'll assess the quality of the buildings. So of course, I'm looking for better than freeware quality. <laughs> I mean, one would expect, right? I know what I expect from free freeware peoples, and I'm sometimes impressed that they went the extra mile. But here, I'm obviously looking for something more than they got it off of Google Maps. 
or something. Yeah, I don't know how far away from downtown London we can expect new buildings. Let's fly over here. I don't know if that looks new at all. I don't think so. It's looking about the same, I think, here. Oh, well, there's a statue that is a thing there. I didn't notice that before, but maybe that's just my blindness. Uh, built a uh, bridge going oh, okay yeah there's a railroad bridge and then there's the roadway well this factory looks a bit different got some stuff there that I imagine I would have noticed an orange and lime green building before that looks odd there's a tower here obviously more towers around this bridge seems a bit sunken uh, that might that probably isn't the purview of the Orbic scenery package. We do have the London Eye. Got a lot more going on here. Yeah, definitely a lot more going on there. Yeah, there's a little bit more lag, I would say. Yep, I didn't. Notice that's St. Paul's, right? I don't like cathedrals. I always get them mixed up, but um, yeah, uh, a lot more going on here. The shard is still the shard from before. We've got some more buildings here. Interesting roofs. Oh, it's something on the opposite shore from the. The tower. I didn't notice that before. The egg is there. Or I've heard people call it the gherkin. So taking a look around here. Well. Giving you a little tour here. But. I mean, if you're gonna fly around London a lot, this may be helpful. Oh, there's some mesh things going on here. The mesh is actually changing as I come closer. I think it was loading the more detailed mesh. Um, so there was the original model, and then it loaded a more detailed mesh as we get closer. JP Morgan, huh? Well, I guess we know what that building is. It's helpful when uh, buildings decide to... Wow, all the banks are just here. <laughs> they just all decided to go there, huh? Is there a tax break for that little area? <laughs> I mean... City, HSBC, JP Morgan. Well, I guess we can call this the financial district. <laughs> It'd be a shame to use that term for any other place. Yeah, I did not realize they were all clustered together like this. Ooh, interesting building here, and this water here? Waterfront building. Across from the Millennium Dome, I don't remember seeing that little island over there. But then again, I might have just been very interested in the dome. This a lot of interesting buildings, a lot of interesting buildings here, actually. This tower right here has me fascinated, this blue one. That looks like it's actually a bunch of solar panels. Uh, that's a little, those textures are not great, but I mean, I was getting really up close to it. <laughs> I'm pushing it there. I mean, for a 1 gig package, this is not bad. I think I got more or less what I was expecting. You can see the difference in the city from a distance even. 
could people come up with a freeware package that would have the same stuff? Probably. Wouldn't be surprised at all. So it's probably only if you're, you know, London is a big hub for you. It's amazing that the scenery is loading as smoothly as it is. Um, I haven't had much luck with airliners. It's much more stuttery with airliners. With small planes like the Pit Special, it's okay. Slow planes is definitely a good VFR game. Uh, there's a little bit of a uh, Z fighting there going on. I don't know what's going on there. Okay, change of plans. I forgot I haven't done the nighttime textures, so we're gonna waiting for things to load up. Okay, let's go. Well, I mean, uh, not including the London City buildings, but the rest of London looks pretty good at night too. I don't, I haven't flown much at night in Microsoft Flight Sim 2020, but I definitely ought to, at least around cities. We can see the buildings lit up from a distance. Not sure about the shading at this distance. The, this is sort of a greenish tint, but maybe. Okay, well, I see a suspiciously green building over here, so I'm gonna take a look at it. <laughs> uh, I don't know, is that the shade it's supposed to be? That looks pretty horrible. I mean, I don't know. That, I mean, it might actually look like that. I don't know. So we have to. Although, there's multicolored buildings over here. Interesting. And I'm sure the night lighting is correct. Given those multicolor lights, for instance. So that building is just like that, I guess. I guess the houses of Parliament are dark? The clock face is lit. Interesting that it's darker than the surrounding area. Apparently the London Eye is lit in red. Oh, a little bit more stuttery right now. I'm loading something. Ship here is pretty bright. And we don't even see Tower Bridge. Uh, it's right there. Tower is okay. Looking back, we see the Gherkin. Alright. And how about Banker's Isle over here? Those buildings just pop up. Oh yeah, the mesh is changing again. Gotta watch out. I think it's actually the land mesh and it's moving the buildings higher. Oh, really multicolor lights in this one right here. I wonder what that's all about. Okay, so that's night lighting on these buildings. Oh, we didn't actually see a uh, Millennium Dome. Eh, it's dark right now anyway. Oop! Oh, I stressed the aircraft. Gosh darn it, I didn't get a chance at the London Bridge after all. Okay, so there you have it. Um, whether it's worth eight bucks is up to you. Uh, you saw the results. Uh, I think I got more or less what I was expecting. So with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.